And members of the House Democratic Caucus publicly asked the governor to institute a statewide mask mandate and take other steps to protect the public. Now, Fox News' Claire Sims joins us now live from the state capitol. And Claire, there was one point on which they did not agree, right? Yeah, this group of lawmakers says they think that masks should be mandated in schools to help slow down the spread of COVID-19. But one of the lawmakers says he wants clo or schools closed altogether. We are asking you, Governor Kemp, to step up and do the right thing. Democratic state lawmakers call on Governor Brian Kemp to put more safety measures in place to stop the spread of COVID-19. Members of the House Democratic Caucus's COVID-19 response team held a news conference inside the state capitol Wednesday. They want the governor to institute a statewide mask mandate, particularly for K-12 through schools as well as colleges and universities. The lawmakers also said the governor and state school superintendent should set up a statewide virtual learning platform so that all students can continue their studies even if their schools shut down. But State Representative Roger Bruce of Atlanta took it one step further than his colleagues, calling for the state to close all schools. So we need to, to take a stand and say we're going to close these schools until everyone has access to the vaccine. Currently, the FDA has not approved any COVID-19 vaccines for children under 12. The governor's communications director, Cody Hall, says kids need to be in the classroom to learn. Well, it's clear as it has been throughout the pandemic that Georgia Democrats are just interested in playing pandemic politics. Their plan to combat the virus is to shut more businesses down, close schools, and force kids to wear masks. The governor is going to be focused on common sense things that actually have been proven to work, which is keep our businesses open in a safe way, encourage vaccination, keep kids in the classroom so they can keep learning, but then also ensure that our hospitals have the resources they need to deliver care to Georgians who may be in the hospital with COVID. Hall also says this is the first time that anyone has approached them about a statewide virtual learning system. He says he sees that as being contrary to what school staff have been working towards for the last year and a half. We are live outside the state capitol. Claire Sims, Fox 5 News. Yeah, Claire, as you know, Georgia, one of the hotspots for this COVID surge. Thank you. That